Hello everyone, good day to all, a blessed Sunday, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest update. This is the uh, special coverage on Typhoon Isang, which will be the final one, and a new one, LPA 93W, which we will commence starting today. And this is uh, for today, Sunday, August 24, 2025, mm -hmm. English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. And we'd like to thank our partners. PPI Sustainability, if you're interested to know more about PPI Sustainability, just click on the link here. And the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Lenny Robredo and our Honorable Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. So let's uh, begin with our update. Uh, Kajiki, that's the international name of Isang, has left the Philippine Air Responsibility yesterday uh, morning, uh, that's around 8, 8 a.m. And it's now a full-blown Category 1 Typhoon with winds of 120 to 130 kph. And it's now uh, approaching the uh, uh, southern coastal waters of Hainan. So it's currently here. And it's expected to make landfall over uh, the uh, north central part of Vietnam within the next 30 hours. So that will be tomorrow afternoon. So they expect winds to uh, increase to around 130 to 150 kph before weakening because of the uh, cooler oceanic heat content over this area or the uh, tropical cyclone heat potential is slightly cooler compared to the west philippine sea so uh, this system will bring uh, strong winds and uh, heavy rainfall across vietnam and uh, uh, hainan over the Philippines, we are experiencing some passing rain showers and thunderstorms becoming more frequent now over Eastern Visayas and uh, Mindanao and also Bicol region later because of a new low pressure area. This is 93W, which is trying to organize as uh, most of the computer models are making it a uh, low pressure or even a tropical depression. The American model is upgrading it into a active, into, into an active LPA or a tropical depression, passing very close over the Beagle region sometime Tuesday, and it will eventually uh, traverse Luzon out into the West Philippine Sea in the middle of next week. While uh, the uh, European model is not aggressive enough on this system, this just remain a low pressure system and it will, uh, weaken as it moves close to the uh, uh, coastal areas of the Bicol region and uh, it's further uh, going to move towards the uh, Luzon uh, mm -hmm. mainland. So uh, it's still uh, uh, unsure if this system will eventually reach tropical depression but we will be having a low pressure system passing very close to the Bicol region and Eastern Visayas beginning tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. So we expect more rainfall than sunshine beginning uh, today, Sunday, right now outside. It's already uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. There are some uh, dark alto status, part of the uh, cumulonimbus of the rain bands of this LPA 93W. So please take all necessary precautions living on low-lying areas, hazard-prone, uh, flood-prone areas. And this was uh, last night, and right now it's still uh, to the northwest of Palau, somewhere here, and slightly disorganized as we look at the uh, fast animation from the uh, Himawari 9 satellite, direct from the cyclonic WX.com weather site. And here's the uh, position of LPA 93W to the east of Hinatuan, Surigao del sur and this system will track towards the northwest and the uh, rain bands is quite uh, large and disorganized is scattered enough across eastern visayas and also into the central parts of visayas now mindanao and into the eastern sections of the Bicol region and here's uh typhoon uh, kajiki moving closer to the southern portion of uh, Hainan. Now let's take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation from Windy. This is the real time high definition uh, satellite loop, and you can see that the LPA is struggling here. Okay, and it's uh, 
the forecast to move towards the northwest. And here's uh, Typhoon uh, Kajiki moving towards Vietnam. Okay, so these areas will have stormy weather for the next 24 to 36 hours. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, multi-agency track of uh, Kajiki or Isang. And it shows here that most of them will track the storm over North Central Vietnam within the next 30 hours. And uh, here's the uh, track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It's a moderate-sized system. We're in the uh, northern and central parts of Vietnam will experience stormy weather within the next 30 hours. And also, the area of uh, Hainan will uh, experience some tropical storm force winds. The uh, uh, typhoon force winds will remain over the offshore areas of southern Hainan. So there's no problem when it comes to the wind effects over the landmass of southern Hainan. But again, uh, tropical storm force winds of more than 65 kph will be expected over southern Hainan, including the uh, parts of east, uh, eastern and central Hainan as well. Now here's the model forecast intensity on Typhoon Kajiki. And I think there's a new one. If you refresh this, it's yeah. And this is as of 8 a.m. And it looks like most of the computer models, the computer models when it comes to the wind velocity shows uh, wind stand of up to category 1 only. Okay, but there is another one that exceeding up to category 4. But uh, so the bulk of the forecast remains at category 1. And it's likely after it make the landfall over uh, north central Vietnam, the system will dissipate gradually or weaken gradually. And here's the uh, wind and pressure forecast from windy.com. This is from the European model. So today, here's the uh, weak LPA, 93W. And tomorrow, Monday, the weak LPA will start to move. So this is the final uh, outlay or the final uh, track of the European model. So on Tuesday, when it passed close to Canandoanes, it uh, remains as a low pressure system. So we expect uh, rainfall across Bicol, Visayas, and parts of northern Mindanao. And on Wednesday, it will uh, disappear. A new uh, center point of this LPA will emerge over the West Philippine Sea, west of Pangasinan. And uh, that's the uh, new uh, formation or new center of LPA 93W. I don't know if it will be changed into a new uh, tag ID. So we will wait and see. And on the fifth day, Friday, August 29, it's now moving into the same path of Typhoon Isang or Kajiki again towards Hainan and uh, Vietnam. Okay, so that's the forecast up to five days. We will not tackle the more than five days since it's highly uncertain. And the European model doesn't show any uh, tropical uh, cyclone. If we check on the uh, American model, there you go. It's an active LPA or a weak tropical depression tomorrow over the eastern uh, offshore areas of uh, Samar. And on Tuesday, it will be traversing Catanduanes and uh, Camarines uh, uh, provinces, the Partito district as a uh, low pressure area or a minimal tropical depression it depends on pagasa if they are upgrade it it will be named as Jacinto. so that will be the new name first time used first time to be used by pagasa Jacinto. and uh, that will be uh, on tuesday if it upgrade if it intensifies into a td and on wednesday it will quickly emerge after crossing central Luzon over the west Philippine Sea west of Zambales. Thursday, it will be accelerating towards Hainan once again. Same with the European model as a tropical depression. And on Friday, it remains as a tropical depression. Okay, so that's the forecast of the American model. So it's not yet blended with each other. They disagree on different intensities. But 
rest assured this system will remain as a low pressure so we will monitor this and please take all necessary precautions for possible flooding and landslide when we have intense rainfall brought about by the rain bands of this new LPA 93W. Here's the uh, ensemble of the European model and it shows here that uh, it remains as a low pressure system that color black uh, circles of the ensemble while the blue is the uh, intensity of a tropical depression up to tropical storm strength so we will wait and see if this will be upgraded here's the uh, track of uh, uh, tropical uh, i mean typhoon uh, kajiki moving towards vietnam you can see it's really red so it's a tropical i mean a typhoon towards uh, vietnam and the southern coastal waters of hainan now let's take a look at the Google DeepMind AI model with all the uh, tracks of that model including the European model and they all agree it's moving towards uh, the area of uh, uh, Vietnam, North Central Vietnam. It may uh, make landfall as a category 1 typhoon on the evening, of, no afternoon of Monday August 25th while here over the Philippines, that's the low pressure area which shows two vertices, two uh, vortex forming within that wide swath of that uh, rain bands or circulation of LPA 93W and that's the uh, that's of the European model. And then come Monday, Monday afternoon, a little dots of the uh, Google AI uh, DeepMind model are appearing but it remains as a low pressure system okay so there's no worry no worry when it comes to becoming a tropical cyclone but we will observe this since uh, the uh, the uh, weather is uh, uh, bringing out lots of surprises so we will wait and see and moving into the first week of september there might be another wave of uh, tropical cyclone formation here over the north philippine sea but away from our country that's moving towards Japan and the uh, southern islands of Japan as well. Okay, as for the rain forecast, 24 hours, 11 a.m. today until 11 a.m. tomorrow, there might be uh, intense rainfall of more than 100 millimeters over the Visayan Sea, uh, north of uh, Cebu. So please take all necessary precautions there while uh, Masbate and the rest of uh, Intotolo Channel as well will have. 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall over the Bicol region, no problem at all. We are still under normal conditions. And on Monday, there you go. Still, the uh, intense rainfall can be seen here over the Visayan Sea, Hintotolo Channel area. While uh, 50 to 100 millimeters will be expected over the island of Masbate, over the Bicol region. So please take all necessary precautions. Fox down there in uh, Masbate for possible flooding and landslide when we have intense rainfall brought about by these uh, thunderstorms of the uh, LPA 93W. Tuesday, uh, the rainfall over Masmati has decreased and we have here some southwesterly uh, weak southwest monsoon bringing some 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall over northern Palawan and the western uh, coastal areas of uh, Panay and occidental Mindoro as well and on uh, uh, Wednesday there might be some 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall as well over Patanes and Babuyan group of islands and uh, decreasing 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall along the area of uh, uh, Mimoropa okay so this is below uh, 50 to 100 already and on Thursday uh, normal uh, rainfall accumulation will be expected across the Bicol region. So these are due to the localized thunderstorms. And before we leave you, here's the wave forecast. So far, it's only the West Philippine Sea, which is uh, moderate to rough and dangerous to small fishing vessels. So please take on our precautions. More than one meter, up to two meters will be expected. While so far, for the next five days until Friday, as you can see this slider, it's moving. The wave heights here over the East Philippine Sea will remain uh, one meter or below. 
and over the uh, central waters of the Philippines, it will become to around half a meter in wave heights, except for the Sulu archipelago, reaching uh, up to one millimeter, up to one meters in wave height, and over the West Philippine Sea because of a slight southwesterly wind flow or the weak uh, habagat, there might be uh, wave heights of up to two meters and dangerous to small fishing vessels and sea crafts. So there you go. That's the latest from our end. This is Mike Padua. We'll see you again tomorrow for another update on LPA 90 dw Let's hope and pray that this will dissipate as it moves closer to our country. Uh, thank you so much for watching. God bless to all.